Hello everyone, it's Bibi Cameron here for Spellbinders. This is my very first time on the Spellbinders YouTube channel and it's also the very first time I used the Platinum die cutting machine. I found this machine to be very powerful and it's not that heavy. I didn't read the manual but it was very easy to put together. It only took a couple of minutes and I was ready to go. I also have here the Spellbinders Happy Collection by Charine Sowell and there are seven die sets in this collection and all of them are going to cut silhouettes, children, animals, little plants and sentiments. Just beautiful. For today I wanted to die cut as many images from this die collection as possible to show you how they look when you die cut the paper. And I started by die cutting white cardstock. And I also used some of these dies to die cut gold glitter cardstock to add a layer of that gold paper behind these die cuts to make those silhouettes or images to pop a little bit more. You can use any cardstock color to do this. And the sky is the limit, honestly. So once I finish die cutting all these shapes and silhouettes, I place them in bowls as you can see there, together with the die set to be able to identify them. There are too many die cuts on my table today. And for today, I have this idea to make super duper easy alcohol ink backgrounds. And to blend the ink, I'm going to be using Surgical Spirit. I really like this stuff to use as a blending solution with alcohol inks. It doesn't have a strong smell and it's very affordable. So I made a bunch of background panels for my cars today. I was exploring different ways to use the inks on different photographic paper brands and qualities. This one here was a no, but it was okay in the back of the paper. And well, there was a lot of things I found from that experiment that might be cool for another video. Today, I just want to share the basics. So the photographic paper is glossy and is affordable. All you have to make sure is that the paper is high gloss and is a non-porous paper. This one here has micro poros and that was the only paper that didn't work. So all the papers I was using there, they were glossy and they were okay. But to be honest, I also got this one here. It's a Tim Holtz alcohol ink cardstock and it was my favorite. So for the first background, all I'm going to do is to apply the ink directly on the paper like so. And then I'm going to dab my brush on that blending solution and I'm going to apply the blending solution over the ink just to make it move a little bit. I heat this up and then I splatter this paper using that blending solution as well, and also the metallic alcohol ink. Then for the next panel, I'm going to apply the blending solution on the paper before putting the ink on the paper. And then I'm going to try to get uh, that ink moving from the top of the paper towards the bottom of the paper. And when I wanted to add more color or make the color more vibrant, I just add a little bit more of ink and I repeat the process. To create different patterns on the paper, the key is the way in which you are applying that blending solution. So for example, here I also use a heat tool to move that blending solution, mix it with the ink. And this is going to create hard lines. So once you dry the paper, you apply a little bit more of ink and a lot of blending solution. And in that way, you are going to create more and more hard lines on the background, like I'm showing there. And I have this feeling, uh, I'm not sure if I'm right, but for car making, 
we need to fill the whole background with color. But I have seen so many beautiful pictures of alcohol inks with just a abstract shape in the center of the paper. I wasn't able to keep um, that kind of a style for today. I just filled the whole panel with ink. And for many of the panels today, I only use two ink colors and a lot of that blending solution. I could not resist and I used the white mixative to splatter the panels. I just have the habit to splatter everything I do. So this wasn't the exception. Now I'm going to make a final background. I just pour the ink on a piece of plastic and then I just dab the paper on it and I can splatter some of the blending solution to add some texture. I'm also going to splatter a little bit of the white alcohol ink. You can also use a Midas torch or a shimmer pen to add gold or silver speckles on those panels as well. Now I'm going to put together several cards using those panels. To do that, I die cut some panels using circle, square, oval, and rectangular dies just to create a kind of frame to frame the pictures or the scenes I'm going to build with all the die cuts I show at the beginning of the video. And to add an extra decorative element to these cards, I'm also going to use these die cut frames to add them to the front of the windows. For the first two cards, I'm going to be using We Bring Happy Wishes die set. This is one of my favorite die sets in this collection. Super easy to use and you can cut part of this image to use in different cards and you can also mix and match these images with any other image from other die sets. So that's what I did for this very simple card and I also use that beautiful banner from It's Your Day die set. And for the cards today, I'm using Fan Stamper's Journey cardstock. And I'm loving this cardstock. It coordinates perfectly with the alcohol ink colors I use for today. For the next card, I'm going to be using Celebrate with Cake die set. This is my top favorite of this die collection. It is just beautiful. Look at that cake. My eldest daughter said, Mom, that cake is so stunning. Why do you make it in white? And I say, I'm using an alcohol in background, but she have an idea what I'm talking about. So she said, I don't care. That K will be beautiful in pink or blue. And of course, the sky is the limit. This is just a sample for you, but honestly, that cake is nice in any color. What do you think? So for the next card, I'm going to be using Les Party Dice Set. This one here, this one has seven dice and you can create many different scenes with these die set. I'm going to try to use all the die codes in this die set as well to make a super simple card and I'm gluing three of the same die codes together just to add a little bit of dimension and I'm creating a super simple scene to put one of these alcohol backgrounds just like that and add a banner and I will be done as well. Okay, for the next card, I'm going to be using Sending a Happy Birthday. This is an 11 pieces die set, and it's just beautiful. I love it. I love the intricate detail, and I also love that this is very, very easy to put together.
Last but not least, I have this crazy idea to dye cut this alcohol background paper using Birde Animals dye set. And to be honest, this took me far away from my comfort zone. I love the look and feel of the dye cuts. They look very arty, but I didn't know what to do with them. Um, I tried different things. I then decided to add a white background so the dye cuts would pop uh, behind that window and also having that white background. But then I thought it was extremely simple so I decided to try cardstock colors in the background. It didn't work. Um, and to finish, I say, okay, let's go even more crazy. Let's add an alcohol in background as well. But then I struggled to find the color. It took me a while to figure out this. That was challenging. But I did it. I don't know what do you think about this card. Let me know in the comments. Um, to embellish, I use Nubo drops. Those ones are crystal drops, so they dry clear. And I also use the new Dream drops in this card here. They are pearlescent. They look like real pearls. Um, very, very creamy and nice to apply. For this card here, I also use Nubo vintage drops that kind of coordinate with the cardstock color I use for that card. And for this card here, I also use the Nubo Dream Drops. And well, that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Do not forget to subscribe to this channel and visit the blog to see the pictures and to see more ideas and inspiration. Thank you very much for watching and happy crafting. Bye!